Okay, bismillah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In the name of Allah, the most gracious and most merciful, praise be unto Allah who has given us the gift of knowledge and the ability to reflect on our past, understand our present, and prepare for our future. Dear judges, respected audience, and fellow participants, as young Muslims, we are standing at a crucial point in time where the world around us is changing faster than ever. The future ahead of us is full of promises, filled with new technologies, new ideas, and new opportunities. But with that, the future also have its own set of challenges as well. So how do we prepare for it? How do we prepare for this future and how do we face it with confidence, wisdom, and faith? Well, today, I, Maulana Moran Ibrahim, a student from SMK IDN Boarding School, Jonggol, would like to talk about how we, the young Muslim generation, can survive, not only survive, but also thrive in the future while holding on to our Islamic values. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, before we prepare for the future, it's important for us to know or to understand the challenges that lies ahead. The world around us is changing faster than ever, the growth of technology, environmental issues, and social changes are reshaping how we live. Just imagine, a few decades ago, no one could have imagined the new kind of technology that we have today, like AI, smartphones, and electric cars. But with these new technologies comes new problems as well. Even though technology can make our lives much easier, it can also lead to problems like job losses and privacy concerns. Similar to the environmental issue that we have, like global warming, climate change, deforestation, pollution, it all requires us to take action to protect the world for the future. And these problems may seem overwhelming, but as Muslims, we need to remember that we have guidance from our faith. Islam encourages us to always seek knowledge, to act with justice, and to take care of the earth. And with these values, we can face the future confidently, knowing that we have the correct tools to overcome these obstacles. Ladies and gentlemen, the world may change, but the strength of our core values as Muslims will always remain. But how does these values actually help us in this fast-paced and ever-changing world? Well, first and foremost, seeking knowledge has always been a key value in Islam. Even the Quran itself starts with the word Qur'an, which means read or recite. This teaches us the importance of learning, whether through formal education or learning something new by yourself. As young Muslims, it's, it's an obligation for us to it's an obligation for us to be informed about the developments of technology and social issues so that we can make the best decisions for ourselves and for our community. And another important value is doing what's right and fair. In a world where sometimes developments uh, blur the lines between right and wrong, uh, Islam provides us with clear moral guidance, making the right decisions. And lastly, uh, Islam, we need to remember that Islam has always been a religion that adapts while holding onto its core beliefs. And this spirit of adaptability is something that we should continue to embrace. Continue to embrace as we face the challenges of the future. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we know that our Islamic values are a strong foundation, but it's also important for us to take action. So the question is, how do we turn these values into actual steps? Well, first, try committing to continuous learning. The world is always changing, and to keep up, we need to keep learning. Uh, the more we know, the better prepared we will be to make a positive impact to the world. Second, stay, uh, try to stay uh, stay connected to your faith. Uh, as we face challenges, our faith will give us uh, guidance to make the right choices by by making time for pray for prayer, 
for learning the Quran, reciting the Quran, inshallah, our decisions will always be right and always be rooted in Islamic principles. Third, uh, try to be try to be involved in our community because Islam teaches us to help others and be involved in our community, uh, whether it's through volunteering or uh, helping local residents or simply helping someone in need. Every single small act of kindness makes a difference. And if we are and if we are involved, we can tackle bigger issues that can only be solved by multiple pair of hands. And lastly, try to embrace innovation. Uh, we shouldn't be afraid of new technologies or new uh, ideas. We should use them uh, responsibly to solve problems and help others while staying true to our Islamic values. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes that as young Muslims, we can shape our future while saying, while committing to continuous learning, staying connected with our faith, and embracing innovation, we can not only survive in this future, but we can also thrive in this future. And let us also remember that the fut that future is not something that only happens to us, it is something that we create, something that we create guided by the principles of Islam. Together, we can uh, make the world a better place and ensure that the world is brighter for not only for ourselves, but also for all of humanity. I'm Mulan Ibrahim. Thank you very much for your time. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.